good day and thank you for downloading the um, Miss Silk and Gloria's Mole Cake Boat box. Um, I have designed this small cake book in celebration of my own birthday, which it was um, 11th of January, so happy birthday to me, but I will be giving you presents. I actually do, I don't want to mention a lot of about it, how I'll be sharing the files because I'm so scared that it's not going to work, but I hope it will be able to be downloaded here on YouTube. And if not, then I have to figure to do my research better, <laughs> more. And to be able to do that so anyways let's start so this cake um, can be cut out in um, any color you would like actually and I've decided white for the main cake for the box and then I have um, for icing part one I have pink and kind of plum color that you could do black or brown or whatever you would like or any other color actually and then for the cherries I chose plum and red as well and yeah don't worry and uh, there are two ways to assemble this one a fast way and a um, yeah a more time consuming one when you have this layer two layers on top of each other one and then we have the icing number two which is this one plum and white as well which goes the tray goes on top of it not sure if you can see Wait, hold on let me show you there you go I'm just gonna attach that with glue gun so it dries faster and last but not least icing number three which is this cute 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 and it goes at the bottom of the um, cake box so let's start I'll show you how to do the um, how to adjust attach them actually all of them hold on please um, what do I have? one two three four five Maybe a short pause. I need to check out which template it was. I'll be right back. So welcome back. I found it. I mean, I had to f it was here. So there you go. So what we're gonna do, and this goes for the cherries and all the icings. Okay, we are going to fold all of them first, all the purple ones. Yeah, and then the white ones, and for the cherry it's red right so prepare them each cherry icing three and icing two they have five layers so I'm gonna need five of these and five of that to create one of these okay same goes for it this one and same goes for the cherry so you have to prepare um, quite a lot actually but if you don't want that then you can also just cut out um, the icing uh, which is this one in a different color pink or um, blue or whatever you would like and not use the smaller layer which you will attach on top of it. Get what I mean? You won't get this effect then. If you leave this out, it's gonna be faster and you'll just have this. And same goes for icing number, whoop, which one was this again? Number two, leave out part. Leave out the white ones. And same goes for the cherries. If you cut the big ones, which are the plums, plum colored, and just cut it and don't cut the red and just attach them that will save you a lot of uh, time so that's 
uh, option one and option two is this I'm going to fold all the templates in half apply glue there on one side of the template there and attach it on the top okay that's one I'm just going to show you this one because you can apply this to to all the icings like I mentioned before for icing one for icing um sorry icing two icing three and the cherries okay then it's your choice again repeat to leave out the smaller templates and just uh, do the big templates so you will need for each one you will need five Fold it in half, and then you have attached them one by one to work to each other. Just and then when you do that, this is four. You'll get this, right? Okay. So as you attach them, just apply one. There, and attach it on top. There you go. There. We're not going to attach these two sides together because, oops, sorry, it's much blurry. I'm not going to attach these parts together for icing tree because we have to attach this against the box so we're going to leave this open as you see i'm going to attach them um, but for icing two we have to close them up okay this whole thing because this will be on top of the cake okay so that's that that's for icing two and uh, three there you go do that and then for the cherry, I'll show you anyways. I remember that I have to show you this. I have prepared them and then, yeah, it is. You know what I did when I really got, eventually it, be, it will be boring, especially when you're so far, you've done so many. What I did, what I did was I just tapped away, took a break for 10 minutes, or had lunch, or I don't know. Um, go outside take a deep breath and then come back again with new energy and then you know continue finishing the thing um, if you are able to manage to yeah completely um, attach them please uh, go ahead uh, you can do that I feel like I'm missing one two Oh, here it is. Three, four, there you go, five. So you can do that. You can take breaks in betweens, or you just completely finish it all at once. Or like I said, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to cut out the small templates and just the big ones. And for the cherry, we're going to do the same thing. Again, like I mentioned, you can just cut out the big ones in red and forget the small one if you're like oh that's too much work but I did that because it just it, it does give a different kind of effect and um, yeah. there you go and we'll play blue I think I will share the f my inspiration photo that I saw on Instagram it's a real cake and that's his you know that's the inspiration that I used for this cake and then you see why it's like that okay so like I mentioned you will have five right here you go and this is how we attach them one there oh. 
to I'm showing this one completely because we have this small thingy thingy here the stem or the twig rather to tree fold in half so you get this glue again but this time I'm going to oh, I am going to um, how do you call that? apply glue on both sides immediately there that's it get your twig apply glue at the bottom sides both sides there you go so it sticks Hold it, and there, as you can see, there is an angle. You have to hold it flat, touch it on top, in the center, there, press, and then you get this, right? Touch one hard to the other side, there you go, on top of it. That's one. Press the template against each other, and then oh, two touch the other one on this side and this one is still open there you go there it's very fitly I know it's so tiny tiny there there you go and now but for this one unlike icing number three we are going to close it like with icing two there oh sorry it was blurry Sometimes I don't know what's wrong with the camera. I'm really going to need a new camera, I guess. There. I'm sorry, guys, if it was so blurry. It's not your eyes. It's this. I'm sorry, I didn't see. I saw it too late. I was looking at was the pieces that I was looking at this thing. And there you go. And let it dry. I will need one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cherries. We have. You can do less cherries too if you want. So this is, I also mentioned. Watch the tutorial first. If it's too much for you, you can always adjust it and do less cherries. But then you have to watch until the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 of icing tree and also 9 for icing 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, oh, 10. And I'm missing one. Oh, it's either 9 or 10. Or we just. How many chairs we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we have ten. It's ten. I just, yeah. So we have ten of this, of icing two, ten cherries, and I forgot how many we have of this one already. <laughs> okay, but so that's that. So you prepare that. But before we go, I just want to show you this one also. Um, I think it is. So we have the plum, which has a flap here, right? We're gonna attach these two parts together. There. I think, actually, I think it is better if you attach and don't do that first. Do that later. So guys, and uh, Ladies and gents, there's going to be a pause again, so I'll give you time to create all of these and decide whatever you want. We do it to one layer or just two layer, you know, um, whatever you feel like. Um, but as you can see at the um, inspiration photo, which I will add now, like it will scroll, there you go, you can pause it. That's my inspiration photo, so um, actually we'll come after this. And yeah, that's the inspiration photo, so you can see why it's layered. 
So I'll leave it up to you. Um, if you don't do two layers, then the change, yeah, the effect will change, obviously. But yeah, good luck, have fun. And again, don't forget to take breaks in between if you're fed up with it, <laughs> okay? It's totally fine. And just, that that's what I did. I look five minutes and then came back again. And yeah, you can, you can watch your series in between or anything or listen to your a podcast and stuff or music even and you sing along so good luck have fun and i will see you in a bit